Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. My name is Yolly, and today I will be unboxing Smooth. And today I will be unboxing the lemonade box. So the lemonade box is a a self-care but beauty box subscription essentially. Um, if you already know about this or you're not interested then I'll put the timestamp for the unboxing down in the description but if you're interested in hearing a bit more about it then stick around. So Lemonade Box is a monthly subscription box. I believe it costs £25 a month but like with all boxes you get the option of a year, six months, three months at varying prices. I actually happened to pick this up at a time where I could get it for like £16 a month and I paid for the year in advance so that was uh, an awesome deal I would say and I would say I've enjoyed most of the boxes so far but here we have January 2023 and I cannot believe it's 2023. For now let's get inside the box and see what this month is about. Let's open it up and it looks like this. You usually get see this they call it a monthly mission it says January monthly January monthly mission happy new year we wish you nothing but happiness joy and health for a year ahead and we want to make your 2023 as good as possible that's why this month your mission is to come up with three things you want to do this year that will have a positive impact on your life these things be absolutely anything you may want to put aside £10 a week to save up for a nice holiday, or you may want to apply for a different job. You may even want to take up a new class or hobby. Whatever you decide, we are behind you 100% each step of the way. Let's make 2023 the year we put ourselves first and make positive, conscious steps towards a happier and more fulfilling life. Good luck. As always, we're rooting for you. Ooh, do I know my three things already? I had like a word of the year. I don't really do like resolutions, but I have a word. And my word is play. So I want to like integrate play more into my life. So whether that's like in my work, whether that's being more creative, like currently at the moment, if I try something creative like drawing or painting, I get so critical about it. Like I get in my own head, like what's the point? This is gonna be dumb, this is gonna be stupid, don't even try. And I just don't. So my aim for the end of the year is to be able to just play and create without that voice like even if whatever I do on the paper looks like total rubbish actually be able to just do it and enjoy that I've done it so that's my main aim another two things I'm also going to try out buying myself fresh, fresh flowers and then drying them out I'm excited for that as well I need a third thing I must have one I'll think on it let me know what your three things would be and then we get our edit card which I'll put to the side because I want them to be surprises. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. You can see quite immediately what we have there. These are very obvious and on top. So let's start with these. So we've got ooh, <laughs> Umberto Gianni Volume Boost Shampoo and Conditioner with 875 each. Decent sizes as well, which is good. So, it's been a while since we sent you a volume duo. We thought it was about time we changed that. This is a shampoo that makes your hair look and feel thicker and builds hair density over time for longer term volume. The lightweight texture leaves hair feeling naturally fuller and thicker without weighing it down. With silactic acid to thoroughly cleanse your scalp for healthier hair starting at the root. Safe for colour, chemically treated, relaxed hair and hair extensions. I actually love that it clarifies that it's good for colouring. You might not be able to tell that this is actually coloured for me. I am a natural brunette, but not this dark, usually. Um, so that is good to know. I'll see if I can give it a sniff, see if it's open enough to do that. Oh, it is. See if we can... Beep. Can you see that? <laughs> Just clear. It doesn't have that much of a smell, actually. Does it? I can't smell it. I can barely smell that. I'm quite surprised. I thought it would have more of a scent. I guess it doesn't claim to be a flavour of any kind. Flavour. A scent of any kind. Fair. I would have liked a bit of a scent, but you know. And I don't want to brag. Apologies if this does come across as bragging. My hair is so thick. 
already. <laughs> um, don't need it thicker. But I actually do appreciate this as a product, so it might not sound like it, but I do. But like it states on there, it's for fine and thinning hair, which I guess, yeah, it's always going to be a bit of a, uh, a gamble when it's for a specific type of person and it's a box for everyone. Next up, what I have picked out is a 50ml tub. It looks like a moisturiser. Can you see that properly? I just have to get rid of my face for it to get <laughs> I can't tell, as you can see. So we have that. It's called Harborist Environmental Moisture Light with £39. These moisturisers are always mad, aren't they? And this is the kind of, you have like a squirty thing here. I can't smell a smell. I'm not going to squeeze it because uh, it only has a six month shelf life. That is mad. Just believe me, I can't be bothered to deal with the blur. So, I'll read you some more about this. So, sensitised skin is more easily affected by what you put on your skin and what's in the air. Pollution, central heating and air conditioning. We do not have to worry about that in this country. I'm in the UK, for anyone that isn't and watching these videos. Um, some of those things that can increase reactivity, making it harder to get your best skin. Environmental Moisture Light is a soothing moisturiser for the most sensitive skin with a focus on protecting you from environmental stress. When your skin is calm and protected, it looks healthy and needs fewer products. That sounds good to me. Again, I don't particularly, uh, I don't think sensitive skin is something that I personally struggle with, but I guess it makes more sense to cater to those with sensitive skin or with finer hair to like support that. Um, but as long as it still works as a nice moisturiser for me. I'm still there with it, that's good. And the next one seems interesting. So this is what the outside of this looks like. It's Dr. Botanicals Lip Refresh. This is worth 69 pounds. Nice. So this is what this looks like on the inside. If you see if it has an open doesn't. Oh, I really want to see though. Okay, I'm going to open this. I am going to open this one, but I'm going to read it first. So, worth £69. This natural sugar scrub has been designed to buff and tone the delicate skin on your lips, removing dry and rough skin to reveal younger, plumper looking lips. Silicon free, paraben free, other things free that I can't pronounce. You can rest assured that your lips are getting all the TLC they need and none of the nasties. In addition, the peppermint oil will simulate circulation and leave your lips feeling fresh. To use, apply a pea-sized amount to lips and gently massage. Okay, I'm going to open this because I don't have anything similar, so at least I can start using it straight away. Oh, if you'll let me open it. Why? There we go. Ooh. Oh, damn. It's very pepperminty. I think by the bottle I expected it to maybe be fruity or rosy or something, but it's uh, that is what the inside looks like. Really pepperminty. So if you're into your minty smells, oh, you'll like that. And then let's try and do a bit of a... Can you see? It's like a fine scrub. I wonder if you could lick it off afterwards. Like, I'm not just saying that to be weird. You can do that with the lush ones, can't you? Hmm. Yeah, okay. I can see that being good to use maybe at night time when you've also brushed your teeth. It's like just add to the minty vibe. Hmm. I don't, I'm not normally very excited to receive like lip products, but I think because it's an actual like lip treatment and not just like a balm or something, I'm a bit more excited about it. And £69 seems a bit insane. Like my lips best be the shiniest most wonderful thing I've ever experienced after that. That's wild. Okay, that leaves us with one more product, which is this. It is, there we go, Urban Vida Soothing Facial Toner. It's not though, is it? It's not that. I promise you it says that on here. You see? I wonder if they've contacted to like correct that. The actual thing is the same, so they're both facial toners. 
but this isn't what that is. But that's okay, still a toner. So I wonder if I read this whether it won't actually be this. This is saying this is like an aloe vera juice and peppermint toner, whereas this is a hydrating sandalwood and aloe vera. So they're close. Close. I wonder what this does smell like. Nothing. That's okay. And um, I can't really, yeah, there's no description on this, but what I can tell you is that it's 150 mils. Uh, yeah, it's a toner. But I'm, I'm happy to receive that. I, I find that, I, th I don't find that toners are in boxes that often actually. So, yeah, I'm pleased with that. Uh, and then that is, that is the box empty. So let's reassess. In total we have shampoo and conditioner, the moisturiser, the lip scrub, and the toner. Overall, I actually think a very strong box, personally. That is all stuff I will use, all stuff that is, yeah, is, is, is definitely going to be used by me. Um, I've still got this scrub over my hand. Uh, yeah, strong box for me, I think. I like it, strong starts of the year. What would I rate it out of 10? Uh, mm, maybe a nine. Maybe? Maybe a nine. Yeah. It's got a bit of everything. There's nothing I didn't like. But where does it miss the point? Is a nine fair? I don't know. I guess I just don't have that like, ooh, how exciting feeling. So that's where it misses the point. I don't know. Maybe I'm being arbitrary. Oh, was it worth? I forgot to mention the overall box is uh, the January, so all vegan, and it's worth £138.49. So I mean, pretty good going really. The fact that I only paid 16 for it is like incredible. What I've paid is essentially for the shampoo and conditioner in it. So really great if you consider it like that. Um, let me know your thoughts. As always, love to hear your thoughts. Uh, would you get this box? Would you, would this entice you in? Yeah, let me know your thoughts on this box. And I hope you have a fabulous day, wherever you are. Goodbye.